Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Ramsey. Thousands of New South Wales residents have been left without power after a super storm cell swept across parts of the state's north. A tornado made landfall in the regional town of Armidale overnight, flipping cars and tearing roofs off homes. Weather Bureau meteorologist Matthew Bass says it was an intense storm cell. There is good footage out there of, uh, of lightning strikes highlighting where the tornado is and as it passed through power lines, you know, sparks and things occurring. So it was a pretty strong storm. Parts of Sydney's metro and western suburbs were also struck with flash flooding, lightning and strong winds. Severe storm warnings have also been issued for parts of Queensland's southeast today. Ipswich, Logan, Southern Downs, Gold Coast, Brisbane and Moreton Bay have all been told to brace for damaging winds and potentially large hailstones. From today, every person on Victoria's authorised worker list must have had their first COVID-19 vaccine dose to continue working on site. Rules mean workers must be fully vaccinated by November 26. The new requirement applies to up to 1.25 million Victorians. Dreamworld's owners have taken legal action against the engineer who certified the Thunder River Rapids ride as safe. Ardent Leisure is blaming the engineer for the deadly 2016 tragedy, which claimed the lives of four tourists. It's been revealed the ride was certified mechanically and structurally safe, provided one fault was fixed just one day before the deadly incident. And Victoria's Royal Commission will hand down its final report today into Crown. It's looking into the gaming giant's suitability to hold a casino licence in Melbourne following claims it facilitated money laundering and other criminal behaviour. To sport in cricket, Alyssa Healy has guided the Sydney Sixers to a six-wicket victory over the Melbourne Stars in the opening match of the Women's Big Bash. She made 57 off 27 balls, named player of the match. Tim Zhu's fight against Japan's Takeshi Inoue has been shifted from the Gold Coast to Sydney due to COVID travel restrictions, and Golf Australia has had to cancel both the men's and women's Australian Opens due to international travel restrictions. In entertainment news, Coldplay is planning to stop making records after album number 12. The band will release its ninth album this weekend, but frontman Chris Martin says fans need not despair. He wants Coldplay to continue their live performances well into their 70s. Prince William has opened fire on the billionaires who send rockets into space rather than trying to fix the planet. We need some of the world's greatest brains and minds fixed on trying to repair this planet, not trying to find the next place to go and live. The comments by the Duke of Cambridge come just a day after Star Trek's William Shatner journeyed into space aboard Blue Origin's New Shepard rocket. And Adele is set to release her first new song in six years today. Easy On Me is the first single on the singer's upcoming album, 30. That's your latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update. Oh, 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 oh,